Maybe you can tell by my face, but I come from a family of scientists. I'm actually the only member of my family who doesn't have a PhD, which is a shitty standard to live up to. Like, hey, mom and dad, I graduated from college. Uh, no, you didn't, you quit. That's what we call a bachelor's degree in this family, dropping out. Wow, you actually seem so sorry for me. Uh, it's true, my dad's a marine biologist, my mom is a botanist, my sister is a nuclear physicist. I'm here. You're looking at what I'm doing, you know. It's very nice, very nice. Canadian television. <laughs> Doing great, doing great. Here's a tip. Uh, uh, if your sister's a nuclear physicist, just give up on ever impressing your parents. Like, hey, mom and dad, I had a pretty good set last night. Oh uh, yeah? Well, your sister converted matter into energy, like God. <laughs> That's what God does. What they use to tape your little show. Electrons, your sister invented those. Case closed. <laughs> Case fucking closed, they swear. Um, you can also tell by my face I wear glasses. That's because good, very observant folks. I am legally blind in one eye, which means I have no depth perception, which means I have never caught anything in my whole life. <laughs> Don't test me now, ma'am. You could kill me. Keep the glass on the table, please. Because look, here's the difference between you and me. When someone throws a ball at you, your brain does this incredible thing where it instantaneously compares the images coming from your two eyes, and it says, oh, well, judging by the differential angle of velocity between the two images, we can judge that the ball is roughly here. And you just sort of reach your hand out and pluck it from the sky in a miracle of evolution. My brain does not do that. My brain goes, that circle is growing! <laughs> we gotta get out of here! I just pass out, hit the pavement. Um, you know, I'll leave you with this. I, um, I sometimes think that I would uh, prefer to be a woman. And this gets a little laugh, but there's, there's so many, it does, but there's so many experiences that, that women get to have that men are cut off from and, and that I, I, I'm sort of jealous I'll never get to you know, have in my life. Not childbirth, that's clearly a horror show. That's not a miracle, that's a curse from God. I don't care what anybody says. But I think that, I think that sexually, there are some things, like let's be honest with ourselves. The female orgasm is clearly so much better than the male orgasm. I'm pissed off, I'll never get to experience one. Right? And look, I have no firsthand knowledge. I don't know what it's like. But I have seen it happen, you know, to other people. <laughs> Once or twice, you know on a really good night, you know, we'll bear down and make one happen. Uh, you know, it definitely looks way better than what happens to me. Like, when I come, it's just like, meh. It's like over in a second. When my girlfriend comes, it's like she's traveling through time. Her eyes roll back in her head. You go, blah, 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 blah. 10 minutes later comes out of it going, the things I saw. I was gone for 10,000 years. I went to Narnia and ruled a kingdom. Oh, what happened to you? Oh, you made a mess. Oh, <laughs> very impressive. Well, I touched the naked face of God, so I think my gender wins. Uh, folks, my name is Anna Conver. You've been wonderful. Thank you so much.